Hello everyone and welcome back to Codeflix. So today we will see how to do multiple file uploads using PHP and we'll do two things today. First of all, we'll store the multiple files into our database and the second thing we'll be storing this all the multiple files which we upload in a uploads folder in our local machine. So we'll be completing two tasks today of doing multiple file uploads. So first of all, we'll start with the database. So I'll show you the database. This is the table in which we will be making the entries of the uploads. So I'll show you the structure of the table. So we have three fields ID, title and image IMG tag. So the title and IMG are taken as where care and the ID is int. We'll be storing the same things in the title and IMG just that those things are too different and if you want to store it as a different title and a, as a different image name you can do it as your own. So this is the table and on browsing we can see that already there are 16 images already uploaded in this table and I'll show you a demo in which we'll see how to upload more files at a time. So let's see a demo. I choose files. These are the thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So let's say we hover down and select download, draw and excel and click on open. So as you can see it shows three files on hovering it shows the names download draw and excel and on clicking upload it shows us the success message that file uploaded successfully now i will go back to the database i'll refresh the database and see if the entries are there after the 16th so you can see 17 18 and 19 are the download draw and excel so download draw and excel in the image field and in the title field because i have given the same field names and we'll jump on to the uploads directory so this is the upload directory and uh, you will see that download draw and excel are the three files which we uploaded just now and are showing here in the uploads file so today we will see something like this using php so let's start So this is the basic code structure and I have declared the variables and I have declared the connection object in which I have used the MySQLi object to connect the database. So these are the basic things and I have given an if block on the submit click. So quickly we will uh, code the HTML. So I will open the form tag give action as nothing and then we will give the method and the method will be post method it is necessary to be post and then this thing is very necessary eng type and that should be multi part form slash form data multi part slash form hyphen data and we'll close the form tag And then inside the form tag, we'll be giving two inputs, namely one first input for the file upload. So let's say we give an input tag and we give type, we give type equal to file because it is a file upload type. And then we give name equal to file, but uh, make sure to give the file array because we'll be using for multiple uploads. So file array, and then we'll give ID equal to file the same thing and we'll also give a name we don't need to give name if you want we have already given the name and this thing is necessary we'll mention that it is a multiple file upload so that we get the multiple file upload functionality so that's it for the file upload and we'll give another input and we'll give the type equal to submit because it will be a submit button and then the name the same submit and the value will be upload value will be shown on the button and that's it for the html now we'll jump onto the php so this is the if block is set post submit so if the submit button is clicked i have written the if block here so we'll click quickly get the file count we'll use the count function and we'll use the dollar underscore files and then we'll give the file type 
and we'll give the name here that's it now we'll write a for loop we'll mention a variable i equals to zero that same variable i less than the file count sorry it will be dollar file count and the same i dollar i will be incremented and then we'll get the name of the file dollar file name and the name will be dollar underscore files and we'll give the type file we'll give the name and we'll give the variable dollar i so in this variable we'll get the file name then we fire a quick sql query that will be in quotes insert into the name of the table is file up and then the fields title and img field and then the values and that values will be for both the things i have given file name and for that also again open the quotes dollar file name close the quotes close the bracket close the double quotes end the query and then write an if block if uh, the connection variable and then the sql query and in that pass the sql variable is equal to triple equals to true then echo your message whatever message you want that uh, file uploaded success fully else in the else block echo that an error has occurred that's it give a semicolon at the end and then this is the other function to upload in the uh, uploads directory or upload folder so write a function move uploaded file and then pass the file dollar underscore files and then pass it type file and then give a temporary file name tmp underscore name and then pass the i variable dollar i also with it and then we have to pass the directory so the directory will be upload and then dot concat the file name so that is dollar file name so that's it for the move uploaded so this is the code for uploading multiple file values and now we'll test the code which we have written here so we are ready to test so we can see the end id is 21 so we'll choose any two or three files so let's say we choose any two files html instagram and login form click enter and click on upload so the message file uploaded successfully so we'll refresh this and we'll see that 22 and 23 are the new IDs Instagram and login form and we'll also check the login folder and we should get login form and we should get Instagram here so that's it for today's video we can see how we can upload multiple files in a PHP to display only one success message just take the if block outside your for loop and you will get only one success message for multiple file uploads so that's it for today's video hope you liked it thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like it.